Hey everybody, it's your boy Bo here, back with another video. Double upload today, let's go. This is a new series of tutorials for Risk of Rain. This is where I talk about each character's weapon skills and what items suit him or her best. Today, we're talking about the bandit. The bandit fires his, his main attack blast faster if you press the button faster. You use smoke bomb to either run away or to stun many enemies at once, followed by dom dom dynamite toss, sorry, dealing with... Uh, Dealing a killing blow with lights out allows you to chain many skills together, allowing you for maximum damage and safety. So Blast, as mentioned earlier, is a powerful fire a powerful slug for 150% damage. Dynamite Toss, toss an explosive in an arc for 230% damage. Smoke Bomb, turn invisible after 3 seconds or after using another ability, turn back, vis turn visible again, and surprise and stun enemies for 140% damage. Lights out. Take aim for a headshot, dealing 600% damage. If the ability kills an enemy, the bandit's cooldown are, the bandit's cooldowns are all reset to zero. So, let's do this. Here we are, the Death of Forest, one of the two starting levels. Here we are. So, as always, you have 10 seconds to compose yourself before enemies come and try to gnaw your face off. So, blast. Press the button fast, and it fires faster. So, there's dynamite toss, basically just a normal grenade. You can turn invisible smoke bomb, makes you run faster, and enemies cannot see you. After three seconds, you turn invisible again. So, just wait for something to spawn now. There we go. So you have lights out. If you, you, can, you can get a trophy, by the way, if you kill an enemy, if you kill a boss with this um, ability. But basically, if I use it and it kills an enemy, it resets all my cooldowns. But if I already use it and it does not kill the enemy, I can show you what happens to that. Let's go ahead and get busting fungus, as always. So if I use it, I just now have to wait 8 seconds for me to be able to use it again, and I am now partially out of the fight until those 8 seconds are over. That's a lot of those things. Uh, spam the square button. There we go. Easy enough. Ah, that was a fail on my part. Alright, I don't mind getting back up there. There we are, big chest. Let's go ahead and get in fusion, just like always, my second favorite item. Smoke bomb is an extremely long cooldown of 12 seconds. And it only lasts for 3 seconds, I'm not entirely sure why it is why it takes so long to cool down, but whatever the case may be, that's what it does. Dang, this is really kind of a boring episode, I think it's farming. Hopefully one day I'll be able to show you how to eat, how to get that artifact. I told, I told you in the first episode, but if you want to see me do it, comment down below, and I'll make sure to try to get you close to that. And any day now, I'd like to find the teleporter. and run faster speed things up.
There we go. Teleport is mine. Let's do this. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The bandit. Not my favorite class. Certainly not. Never been a big fan of him. But, what are you going to do? Um, he's pretty fun to play as, don't get me wrong. He's just, he's certainly just not my favorite to play as. He's a pretty cool, he's a pretty cool, uh, class. And, like, as an idea. I just don't really like how he plays. But that's just my opinion. Try all the characters. You might find your favorite just like I have. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. See you later.